every damn time. Oh. <sighs> Greetings and welcome to another beetle for Helen's beetle. Today, I have another haul for you, obviously. It came from Art Beads in their epic clearance sale type deal. Um, I hate it when they do these things because usually they are having a lot of nice, actual, useful stuff. And I never have money. But I managed somehow. And these things, like, these are obnoxious to participate in because they always go like a bazaar. You can refresh your page and what you have in your cart is gone. Or you place your order and then they'll email you like a couple hours later and be like, sorry, we don't have this much or it's sold out, but we fixed your uh, order to reflect this amount instead. So, nah. Mostly what I bought today was pearls and pendants. Um, they had a lot of large Swarovski pearls on sale, which is good and bad. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing these, and I'm kind of hesitant and wary about that, because I hope they're not, because there's some colors in there that I really like. But, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So, that's what I stuck to. There were a couple of colors of crescents that I really wanted, but I have a lot of crescents, I guess. And I had a budget, so... That's where that went. So without further ado, uh, I don't even know how to sort this. I don't know. I'll just grab a bunch of pearls. So, I have 10 millimeter round crystal pearl in dark purple. And um, these I've bought mostly for earring pairs because I've been getting into that lately. Um, they are make nice little focal pieces, and I don't have too many in my stash currently. But I've been using large pearls for things like this one. I've got a tutorial on that up on my channel. I will leave links in places. It's kind of a two-parter. Uh, you can do that design, or you can do that design, which is pretty cool. But, so I've been playing with the earring ideas because they're simple to throw together and it would be nice to have some stuff in my arsenal to play with. So I've got the dark purple. I think that's all I got in 10 millimeter actually. Yeah, that is my only 10 millimeter one. So let's move on to 12 millimeters. So I got a nice olivey green, sort of. This is dark green in 12 millimeter. It's, uh, yeah, kind of like a foresty whatever have you. Forest stuff. I got petrol, because petrol is my favorite. And we got two pairs of that. Um, 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 are these 12? Yes. This is what I'm mostly upset about. This is the Scarabass Green, which is the really shimmery purple green pink type deal we got going on. It's really pretty, especially in person. I ordered 10 of these because I was like, are they gonna just stop? Using them? Selling them? Discontinuing them? But they only had five left by the time I got to it, and that made me upset. So I got those. Um, what size? In theory, it would be 14 millimeter if we're going by that. Yes, 14 millimeter. I got 14 millimeter in blackberry, which is like a berry color, you know? Uh, yeah. Berry color! I also got six Scarabaeus green in 14 millimeter. Um, yeah, because those were pretty, and again, I was worried about them, like, discontinuing that color. I hope they're not discontinuing that color, because I like it a lot. Uh, 14 millimeter in dark green, again. I kind of kept with the same color palette, didn't I? Uh, petrol. We got some petrol in here. Petrol. We got, whoopsies, ow. Um, uh, 14 millimeter, um... We got 14 millimeters in dark purple, because that's pretty. And then, we got the 16 millimeters. We've got dark purple, and I don't have the size in my stash, actually, so that's kind of good, I guess. Um, and we've got round crystal pearl in copper. And I've never used this color before, so that's probably why I got that. So, those are my pearls that I got. I only got one set of 
10 millimeters, so I'm wondering what I would do with that, or if I make a design, because I'm the type of person that doesn't like to use up their stash, especially if they can't place stuff in my stash. I'm that annoying person in video games that will hoard healing potions, but never use them in case something happens. And then that in case never happens. Anyway, moving on. Then I got some top drill bicones because I always find myself using them. Um, for some reason, just to accent, or I even use them a lot in bezels. And such. Let me see if I got an example. My chaos pendant is within reach. It is not. Who? Well, never mind. I'm not. I'm not showing you. Anyway, so I got twenty in graphite because they were really cheap. They were like twenty cents a piece, and they're usually like sixty or something like that. And then they had like an extra coupon code, which was even more awesome. And then we have this iridescent green, which I don't know. It looks like it. It's only one side of it is coated, and it's kind of look like this gray, iridescent sparkly bit, but it's pretty. And for some reason, I use top drill bicones a lot. And then I got one of the 14 millimeter sea urchins in Crystal Silver Knight. This looks a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, um, I'm hoping they're not getting rid of the sea urchins, because I had plans for some of these. So if I might have to find some crystal golden shadow ones, and because uh, I've got all these amylites that I want to play with. As I was saying before I completely destroyed my room, I have all these amylites that I want to play with, and I thought like the urchin would be a nice little effect at the end, but I wanted... I was thinking gray would work, but I kind of think crystal golden shadow might be better for what I'm going for. Which, I say that now, but I have no idea what I'm going for. So there's that. And finally, a couple of pendants. I got a giant-ass clover, because for some reason I am obsessed with clovers. Um, and this one is one that I actually have that is green-colored. I have an emerald one, but I like the peridot better, because, um, yeah, reasons. And then I picked up the sea snail, the 28 millimeter giant one, because it was very cheap. They were selling these at like 60 to 80 percent off, something like that. So I only paid like five bucks, I think, was the price for it, as opposed to like 15. So I took the opportunity to get one of the giant ones, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. But that's the whole beauty of this thing. But anyway, that was my stash. I doubt there's anything left of value in that sale. Those things are kind of crazy. But, yes. I'm not sure also when I'm posting this, so if this is during the holidays, hope you're having a good, okay time with your gift-making things if you're the type of person that makes gifts for people. Because I feel ya. Anyway, I think that will do it for me. Be sure to check out all the other jewelry adventures and tutorials that I have for your enjoyment. I will leave links everywhere, up in the eye, down below, what have you. Check out my sci-fi book, because the end is near, and there are some things that have happened that are very, very exciting. So, feel free to sign up to my newsletter as well if you want updates on that. And, yes, thank you guys so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, Feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.